Hi guys, uh, it's Aegis here. So here we are, the finals of uh, the Hong Kong Overdress SP event. We have uh, a Bastion versus the Farner. So the Nefarner player actually appears on all of the uh, top tables fights that uh, I have recorded. Uh, unfortunately, I myself was uh, taking care of uh, Top 3 and 4, which is uh, a Baron Magnus versus Nefarner. So I won't be around on the camera. And based on what I check, I think everything is fine. So everything's going normal. Uh, the final player gets the trickster from uh, Reno skill and he's trying to uh, rush I think because that's the best moment when uh, Passion have no defense so a uh, Reno, a Velocity Hazard that is important to boost the extra 2k and uh, a Farina with high power so, so far we see uh, two PGs appeared on uh, on Nirvana's side. And, okay, he pulled a trigger. So, trying to attack uh, Farina because it's an overdressed unit. And being guarded. So now Nirvana player can get into Nirvana, get the uh, Farina. Now he uh, <coughs> do have one kind of us, so he can use for the father to pump power or if he got arcs he can actually pick arcs to draw but he decided to play a farner. <coughs> so he's a train drive, nothing and yet another PG. So that's the third PG review uh for the farner side. Twenty-eight and thirty K. So take another one, and he's using an overtrigger guard. So for Kader side, we won't see any uh, overtrigger uh, over interactions, but at least you get a 50 k shield to stop uh, getting into fifth damage because that's going to be fatal. So he goes to Elden, trying to draw cards, and uh, we, you can see here we actually do have some counters, uh, which is. Uh, our head just asking a local store to help out because they do have a set of these which is different to uh, the official ones of course but with those I think it's easier for everyone to actually see the power changes and easier counting numbers also to the players of course so you play a uh, Fosado and uh, getting into attack He's not pushing. He comes in uh, Nirvana, so one less for person, right? And there's two Varner that I think he wants to uh, get rid of, but he decided to attack the Vanguard. Got a heal, which is very big because putting it to free is actually helping him to survive the next turn. At least uh, can survive a uh, one crit attack. One Plus crit attack basically. So he discarded a uh, Koga Bell, which is a very great shield value, which means he's going quite offensive. And from here, the the uh, Bastion player is actually trying to hit the Riga instead. But uh, what they're talking about is uh, the part of they actually reacting too quick. So, uh, you haven't actually decided target yet, but yeah, that just happened. And he did not uh, press a right. Only get get yet another Farina. So, using the Farina skill again, plus 10k. And you can see the Avilarsi Harser is actually quite helpful to become a uh, 10k boost at all times. And still to Varina, still threatening, and you can see how stable uh, the founder that actually is. PG with a heal. The third PG. And got a heal. So as damage boosting isn't good, but 
for power and healing back to uh, 3 damage is actually quite helpful. So, fire skill, uh, retiring the Elden. Now he's taking 1 damage and getting a defensive, so helping him a lot to survive the turn. So now back to the Bastion player turn. Only one great freeze on the field. And he got a personal right, so this is actually helping him a lot with the tanky boost. Because which making the Nova player is actually hard to cut, but he's on free, so Okay, the Dark Strain, I think. The Rafuk. Two Rafuks. Giving all skill uh, all Great Freeze boost now. So his field is kind of ready, but uh, he don't have any Elden or Order to draw, which I think is hurting him a little bit. Got a defensive crate, which making uh, the regular attack a little bit easier to guard because it's only 30. Putting a training shield, crit and a crit. So uh, this is basically the best. Uh, Twin drive that you are looking for. We're sending a Riga plus 10k and giving another Riga 10k and a crit. Makes things a lot threatening. So the one with crit is actually got it now. So now they he's still uh deciding what to attack, so yeah. And actually attack the foreigner. Uh trying to remove all the uh overdress skill units playing Arena. And he don't have any overdressing, so this tactics become quite effective. And he only plays a Reno as a rearguard, so uh, guessing he needs to keep some hand for using PGs. So he's a 33k attack, it's basically the uh, highest attack, except facing over trigger. And he's on four, so he decided to uh, PG and drop another uh, Coco Bell. A draw and just an arc, I think. A 20k. So he's decided to take it as a fifth damage, which is a draw resources. So, yet another person, right? So, if Things going well, he can actually win this turn. But uh, his opponent do have uh, two PGs in hand, so basically he can guard two of the attacks and take one damage. So if Bastion can't withstand any of the regards, then the final player can survive because he only take one damage and then guard the other two, and then it depends on withstand. If there's a withstand, then he can push through. Unless there's a over trigger in hand, something like that, to uh, survive from a higher power attack. So using Rafu's skill, plus 10k to Forsado. And from there, he actually played the, I think it's the fourth uh, Koga Bell, which he dropped the all four of his 15k shield. So he's going all offensive. A 40k attack against Vanguard. Quite threatening. So he's counting the triggers there. Uh, 5 in drop, 1 on field, 1 in damage. So 7. So I think he's decided to take it. Nothing. Arcs. So here's the critical point, if Bastion is standing regard, then he can win. If not, uh, he's likely going to lose. Uh, here comes the first PG. Crit. And crit. So he don't have uh, a PG, uh, a Great Freeze to his stand. And as I said, here comes the second PG. And forcing his opponent to end the turn basically. 
and get a person right so uh, he because he dropped the uh, coco well so he already lose a lot of uh, shielding value which is possibly uh, you might say is kind of a misplay there but of course it's all about like actually what happens we never can expect things like that but yeah here comes another trickster and overtress to a Faliente so he can he do have two kind of loss open so he can actually restand with Faliente as well so he's playing every card from his hand So let's see the part. Uh, Vanguard is 43 and uh, Arx is 40k, I think. And then Faliente is uh, 46, I think. So all about 40. And now he's kind of, uh, he's kind, not kind of regretting he dropped so many Koga Bell. Because that might actually help him survive. Yeah, so I think his hand is quite small, only like four cards in hand probably. I can see careful uh, clearly there. So he just decided no guard. A crit, so probably a uh, shutting down again completely. And also got a heal. So here comes the damage check. He got a heal. So he do have a chance to survive if he pull another heal. Uh, he do have only two heals up here, but yeah, that's all. So let's proceed to game two. So here comes game two. Uh, the best player this time get to uh, go first. So he do have a chance to actually rush a lot as long as you get to Bastion. So he's trying to rush again while he can. Attack. A Koga Bell. And Vanguard attack. And he got a crit. So pushing his own is a free damage, which is uh, very, very bad. And right into grade 2. And then Dark String. Reveal. And another trigger. Got a great order, Valiente, and actually right into grade two now, getting trickster by radio skill. So he's also going free side attack again, I think. Arx, draw two, which is kind of a normal play, and. He's going to play something else. A Farina. So Arx attack for 15k. Got a defensive. And 10k. And he got a crit. So that basically put his opponent to 6 damage. And well, that's the actually the end of uh, the finals. You you're never going to expect something like this. Uh yeah, we just have a very intense match, and now it just end before Bastion actually get to uh, Great Freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, what you think about this result uh, is kind of funny. You can see both players actually get so excited and like laughing. Yeah. So again, that concludes the uh, finals of our uh, Overdrive SSB events. Uh, do let us know uh, any comments and also can let us know about like the use of counters um, the uh, cameras and stuff so we can work on uh, improving it better and better yeah so yeah thanks for the guys and I will see you guys in the next video signing off